Manila's Carino Grandstand is ground zero for the kickoff of the Walk of Faith event and Holy Mass for Monday's Black Nazarene Feast Day. With hundreds of thousands of devotees and onlookers expected, a round-the-clock shifting and relief by the PNP is in place to ensure security and safety of the devotees. Jillian Hieronima reports live. Good evening, Jillian. Charms devotees are starting to line up here at the Carino Grandstand in Manila ahead of the Midnight Mass for the Feast of the Black Nazarene. Evelyn arrived at 2 p.m. from Lipa, Batangas to make sure she has a spot in line ahead of a surge of devotees. As such, she is first in line for the viewing of the Black Nazarene. She has been a devotee for 12 years and has yet to miss a translation event. Umuulan pa dito. Umuulan, tas bahadya. Sabi ko, paano kaya tayo? Pero, disito pa rin ako. Rain or shine, pipila ako dito. Duman yung COVID-19. Naging safe naman yung whole family ko. Same time, nakasurvive tayo. Two years tayo na pandemic. Pasasalamat kaya, nandito pa rin ako. The replica of the Black Nazarene has been placed at the grandstand stage this afternoon for public viewing. More than 1,500 police officers will be deployed around the vicinity every day until January 9, according to Lieutenant Colonel Leandro Gutierrez, police station 5 commander who is in charge of security at the grandstand. Ambulances will also be on standby to respond to any emergency or unsoward incident that may occur during the event. For a safe and orderly the Feast of the Black Nazarene, Gitshed has reminded devotees not to wear expensive jewelry or bring high-end gadgets that may be lost or misplaced during the event. Devotees are also prohibited from bringing large umbrellas and life-sized images of the Black Nazarene. Pwede po magdala ng mga santo, yung pwedeng hawakan lang sa kamay, pero paglalagpas ng more than two feet, bawal na po siya. To provide more space for devotees, the Manila LGU has shut down its rarely used COVID-19 field hospital as virus cases in the city decline. Starting 10 p.m. tonight, the streets surrounding the Quirino Grandstand will be shut off to motorists. These are Independence Road, Katigbak Drive, South Drive, and a part of Rojas Boulevard. Those who wish to use the northbound lane of Rojas Boulevard may turn right at Calao Street, left on Mani Orosa, and left at P. Burgo Street. The Manila LG earlier announced it will be enforcing a liquor ban in the city starting tomorrow until January 9, while classes in all levels and work in government offices are also suspended on Monday. This afternoon, the palace declared January 9 as a special non-working day in Manila to give way to the traslacion. Charms the Mass here at the Carino Grandstand will start at 12 midnight. The next will be at 6 a.m. tomorrow, where organizers and other stakeholders such as LGU personnel, media, and police officers will be blessed. The said Mass or Eucharistic celebration is still open to the public. That's all I have for now. Back to you, Charms. Many thanks, Jillian Geronimo.